What is going on YouTube? Clickwood here back again with another Madden 15 Ultimate Team head-to-head -head seasons game. Guys, what you're going to be watching here is a wild card round game. Yeah, um, I've skipped through a whole bunch of nonsense, boring games, and just seasons that I don't really think you guys would care that much about. Uh, so this is actually the wildcard game, like I said, of the most recent game that I played, or the most recent season that I played. This was the All-Pro First String Division, so I wanted to bring you guys this game because it's a playoff game, and I thought you guys would enjoy it. Very first play, Jeremy Hill is going to be gone! Ladies and gentlemen, he is off to the races, cannot be caught from behind. The counterplay works to perfection. Feeling pretty good about that one, man. Feeling very, very good. And we're going to make a nice play there with Clay Matthews on defense on the very first play on defense. But my opponent is not going to go away easily in this one. He was a pretty decent player. Um, I think he got the benefit of some luck here. And you guys are going to see some of that here. But it was a fun game either way. As he completes a nice comeback route there to Mike Evans. Big, big game there. But Luke Keekley comes underneath, gets the interception, says, gotcha, bitch, and he is going to go to the house, starting this game off, guys, with a 14 to nothing lead. Feeling very, very good about that. Back on defense now, and we're going to start to have some struggles here, a little bit on defense. Uh, you see Calvin Johnson out there because my defense is tired at this point, and my opponent's going to take advantage of that. He's going to run some stuff here that uh, I don't really see a whole lot of. Fullback passes to your fullback, I guess, um, you know, as you see it there. Time and time again, he was messing me up with that, and I, I just couldn't stop that play. And he was throwing a lot of underneath stuff here, not just to his fullback, his running back, his tight ends, uh, wide receivers on comeback routes. And as you see there, Taylor Mays did not make an interception there, nor did he make a big hit. And that was very, very frustrating, but not quite as frustrating as that. Throws it into double coverage, and they knock it away. That was Calvin Johnson behind Keekly there. And my opponent, next play. Yeah. Okay. Just a fade route to his fullback, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, over the top of my cornerback, Antonio Cromartie, on that one. Back on offense now, and you're going to see him go to work here on defense with that warp tackle. They have to get rid of that next year, man. So damn frustrating. And Khalil Mack is going to get a sack there. I just really couldn't escape there. I was trying to take off with Vic. And it just didn't work for me. So I did have to punt. Thankfully, we made a nice sack there. Uh, we brought some heat there on that play for sure. But unfortunately, my opponent just continues to pass the ball underneath to his running backs, to his fullback. Very, very difficult to stop, uh, to be completely honest with you. And he is just going to fire this one off of his back foot. Big, big pass there. Uh, man, I was just, I was so frustrated. And then he throws this one right at Patrick Peterson. Uh, no interception, though. You guys know how it is. Thankfully, Taylor Mays is going to finally make him pay there. He gets a beautiful interception. Uh, Patrick Peterson couldn't get the pick. Taylor Mays did, thankfully. And we are back on offense. But I decide that I want to be greedy. And I throw it right at his user. Just an awful, awful play by me there. Um, I really should have probably ran the football there and tried to run out some clock. And we're going to see Patrick Peterson there drop his second interception of this football game, guys. Yeah, that, that's going to be a common thread in this one as we drop another interception there. That one's Luke Keekley. And he is going to finally thread the needle there past Antonio Cromartie. I think that's Calvin Johnson making the catch. Can't really complain too much about that, but man... Very beautiful throw by him, and this one was the one that drove me up a wall. I went absolutely insane. I almost broke my controller when this happened. Look at this. Off of his back foot, turned around, fires it while getting hit 30 yards down the field to oh, an open Marshawn Lynch. Yeah, and here. finally, though, we are going to make him pay. Luke Keekley is going to come up with the pick. He says, gotcha, bitch, for the second time in this uh -oh, game. Uh-oh, retard now, alert. Are we going to finally get some offense going for us again? No. No, we're not. I'm going to get greedy again and throw another freaking interception. Guys, uh, I'm sorry. I know you're watching this and just shaking your heads. Uh, this game shouldn't be close right now. If it's if I didn't have an interception every time that I threw a bad pass, if occasionally my players or uh, his players would have dropped any sort of interception, that would have been nice. 
But no, every bad pass that I throw gets intercepted. And meanwhile, my guys pretty much drop most of the plays. Uh, so that's very, very frustrating. Thankfully, we did get a couple of interceptions. But unfortunately, he is able to uh, come up with a touchdown there right at the end of the first half. I wasn't able to do anything with 15 seconds or so left. And he's going to continue now on offense because he did get the ball after the second half or uh, after the first half ended. So uh, he's going to continue to run a lot of these same plays that he was messing me up with. That pass right there, I could not stop it. I could not find a defense that would stop it. I was running man right there. Antonio Cromartie, my number one corner, was on that guy, and he could not make the play. So it was very, very frustrating trying to stop that play, uh, especially considering he's got RG3, so he was able to take off and run when he wanted to. And check out that juke right there. I don't even know who that is, uh, but a very, very nice juke by him. I have to give him credit. And then right here, we're just going to get pancaked to the ground, and he's going to step into the end zone for a touchdown. Guys, I was up 14-0 in this one, and just bad plays and some terrible luck really just cost me here. But... Look at this kick return here by Trey Mason. Beautiful spin move there. Gets us into a potential here to put up some points. And Jeremy Hill is an absolute beast. So he is going to pick up some yards after contact there. A very nice run there by Jeremy Hill. And we're going to continue to try and pass the football. But man, I cannot scramble to the left at all. And when I've got Mike Vick, I want to scramble to the left. I just do. But he's got Khalil Mack. And Khalil Mack is the greatest player of all time, apparently. He, uh, he played amazingly against the run, amazingly against the pass, uh, and look at this. Every one of my players is blanketed on that play, and I end up having to take a sack. I decided to punt there because I just I, I knew I wasn't going to be able to pick anything up on third and super long like that. So, uh, yeah, it was just frustrating. Patrick Peterson there missing a tackle. He did not have his best game in this one whatsoever. But, guys, there is still time left for us to come back if we can make a stop here. Uh, we definitely need to make the stop, and look at this. RG3 just going to take off here, pick up the first down. He slides, stays in bounds, continuing to run the clock here. And yeah. <sighs> wow. Amazing blocking there. And my guys just had the worst pursuit ever. So very, very frustrating. As you see Khalil Mack on defense now, continuing to just mess me up. Um, I, I don't know. He would he was basically manually putting his players into contain, which typically does not work whatsoever. As you guys, if you're a big Madden Ultimate Team player or just even a Madden player in general, you probably know that. But yeah, for him, his guys were just getting through amazingly. Jason Peters could not freaking block Khalil Mack whatsoever. Thankfully, I'm finally going to make a nice pass here to Alshon Jeffrey. He misses a tackle. That sets us up here with about a minute left. At about the 15-yard line, I'm going to try and continue to move the ball as much as I can here. Try and get into the end zone. I run out of bounds here. Six, or at the six-yard line here, there's only 50 seconds left. And, oh, Alshon, you got to come up with that, man. You got to come up with it. Thankfully, though, Calvin Johnson gets the catch. Now, it all comes down to this. Can we get the onside kick to potentially get the ball back? No. I don't know if I didn't kick it well or what. I'm not used to kicking onside kicks. So, unfortunately, that is going to do it in this one. Very frustrating game for me. I didn't play well, but I also just got BS'd, man. It's just so common in this game. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it, though. If you did, please be sure to hit the like button. Subscribe if you are new, and I will talk to you guys again soon.